we have an interesting episode for you guys today. It is the ultimate DIY project. So if you've ever considered getting some kind of wrap on your car, you may have looked at the price and had sticker shock. I know a lot of people do, but our friend Tin here has taken it into his own hands and he is in the process of applying a vinyl wrap to his Model X right now. You know, I just looked around on YouTube and I saw this vinyl and it was really cheap to buy. So I just tried it. I bought a couple pieces and I wrapped it and I was like, oh, it looks factory. We'd like to thank the Ridge Wallet for making this video possible. So I actually got this wallet for my husband for Father's Day because it's kind of like the Tesla of wallets. It's minimal, it's sleek, and the carbon fiber even matches the carbon fiber on our Model X. So we chose the option with the money clip, but they have tons of other options on their website and they're actually extending 10% off to our followers. So go to ridge.com slash like Tesla and use the code like Tesla to get that discount. They also ship free worldwide. Late last year, Tin test drove our Model X and almost instantly knew he had to have one too. Shortly after purchasing his black Model X P90D, he began a project many would not dare tackle, wrapping and chrome deleting your own vehicle. I'm just about halfway done with the car. I started small, so I got the carbon fiber and I actually did it on these two uh, door switches try to use as little as possible yeah. just to kind of practice since this was this was originally a chrome piece I didn't clay bar it or anything I just cleaned it really well I did an alcohol wipe I masked off all of this where did you order the wrap from this wrap this I got from Amazon it's Avery Dennison I believe it's gunmetal gray after measuring out the vehicle and the amount of film he needed, he ordered all required parts for just under $700, and that's for the wrap and the chrome delete, a project that could cost north of $5,000 if it was outsourced. What that does is the vinyl doesn't stick to it, so when I go and wedge it in these crevices, it slides easier. Definitely watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, and it really just, you know, just took some time to learn it. Yeah, and how did you get in the edges? They sell a lot of different squeegees. You just lay it down and then you kind of squeegee it yeah. in there. And then once you get it in there, you can get a, a hobby knife. I just trimmed it around there and then you squeegee the rest of it in. That's cool. I like the look where it's with the chrome delete and the matching door handles. That looks really cool. Um, so here's something I'm wondering. So I did attempt to do a little bit of the PPF on our car. I actually did, I think like this panel piece right here, which was relatively small. <laughs> we'll see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a good DIY though. Definitely harder than I thought. With some of the big panel pieces, I can't even imagine doing myself. Did you have somebody help you? Yes, definitely. Um, my wife, she helped me lay the part out because it's so big and it's hard to peel the liner. It's hard to do it with just one person. Like I wouldn't be able to do this hood without her. Vinyl is a little bit stretchier though yes, than the PPF. Yes, so you can kind of stretch it into place. Right, you can stretch it in place uh, without a heat gun. Um, and I guess some of the more curved areas or sharper edges, you probably got to apply some heat. You probably want to apply it as cold as possible. So did you actually have to disassemble the car at all to put the pieces on? Typically, I would try to disassemble it, but I was worried about breaking snaps and you know, I don't have an instruction manual to take the car apart. And you need rich rebuilds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I essentially just tried to do everything on the car uh -huh. um, and that made it a lot faster because then I don't have to spend all that time taking it apart, getting it back together, worrying about breaking stuff. Now did it, you take this, this piece off? No, that's, that's really what made it really difficult. Because I, I see guys online, they'll take this off yeah. and they'll apply wraps on it. I could not open it. I didn't want to take apart all the liners and such. I'm super impressed. Do you think it's something that the average person could do or should do? Or do you think it's worth it? Um, if you're a DIY person, I, I definitely think you could learn it. Um, you know, it takes a lot of time. You know, there is an investment and a possible loss if 
you mess up because obviously a roll for a car is pretty expensive. With only a couple of hours per night to work on the project after his day job, Tin estimates the entire wrap will take him as much as 30 hours to complete. I bought a little bit of extra, more so for mistakes. Um, I figure after three years, I'll probably just change the color. Yeah. Maybe sooner if it just. Well, if, if you can I get do bored. it yourself, <laughs> why not, right? And your wife's cool with it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What other colors were you considering? So we looked at a glossy gray color. Yeah. Um, I know what it's, you're talking about because like, that's beautiful. Are you planning on doing any kind of ceramic coating over this? Um, I wasn't planning on it, but you know we have a bottle at home. I might try it out and see. If you can do it yourself, why not? Yeah, why you not? know. side and show you guys some of the areas that are still being worked on because I think it's really cool to see the before and the after because the black color is the free color essentially so you could get a vinyl wrap and change it if you wanted to go this route. Um, I'm not sure if I am handy enough to do something like this to tell you the truth because I know that the piece of PPF I applied I, I I did not do a very good job. Our friend Tian over AP3 had to redo the section that I had attempted to do. So this is the side that you practice doing the carbon fiber on first, it looks like. Um, and inside, this is all carbon fiber. And it was originally the wood trim, but you can't even tell, it looks so good. So was this also ordered off of Amazon? Yes. Yes, that's 3M 1080 vinyl wrap, and it was on Amazon. It was less than 100 bucks. It's so cheap just to try it. I mean, you're just buying a little piece of vinyl. Uh, I would buy probably, I don't know, $30 worth, and then just wrap whatever you're interested in. Like, if it's an interior trim you want to work on, I would do that. What it's, would be the easy easiest enough. place to start? Something flat. <laughs> it's something that's exposed. So maybe, like, right here? Yeah, that would be... An easier piece to work on. An easier starter piece. Yes. And then see how that goes and then maybe move on to bigger pieces, finish the interior, and then right. start working on the exterior. Now you've still been driving around like this. That's yes. how we found out about <laughs> this. We actually saw, we knew he had a Model X and then one day we saw his car and we were like, wait, is that tin? And um, we were like, what's going on with this car? Great video. <laughs> um, what kind of reactions have you had from people that see it in this state? It's funny. I get a lot of weird looks and I'm not sure if they think it looks good or what's wrong with your car or what. Most people that have gone up to actually see it, they like it. They, you know, I've gotten notes on the windows where people like the wrap and uh, I was actually very surprised. Yeah. Well, what questions do you guys have for us? Leave them in the comments below. Make sure that you like this video and you're subscribed to our channel to see more awesome videos like this. And thank you guys so much for watching.